So what you didn't know is that snail farming is 70% about the soil. If you know how to maintain the appropriate soil conditions in your pen, there is a high chances of succeeding. In this video, I will talk about the best soil conditions for your pen and how you can sterilize your snail pen without harming your snails. Let's start with the optimum conditions for your pen. Snails prefer slightly acidic to neutral soil pH. The soil should be similar to that of a garden in which green, leafy vegetables thrive. If your snail farm contains plants, keep them wet and properly care for them. Regularly remove any weeds. Neutralize soil that is too acidic with lime to make it suitable. This ensures that the soil provides the right nutrient availability for your snails and promotes their well-being. Also, the soil should be well draining to prevent water logging, as excessive moisture can lead to health issues for snails. A mixture of sandy and loamy soil works well. Ensure that the soil isn't too compacted, allowing snails to move easily. Snails thrive in humid environments. Maintain a humidity level of around 70 to 80% in your pen. You can achieve this by misting the soil with water regularly and providing suitable shelters to help retain moisture. Your snails require calcium for shell growth. Incorporate sources of calcium such as crushed eggshells, cattle bone, calcium powder, bone meal, wood ash, and shells from dead snails into the soil. You can give cattle bone directly to the snails after breaking it into pieces, but other calcium sources should be given to snails after you have crushed and added them to their food. This helps prevent shell deformities and ensure strong and healthy shells. Also, the soil should contain organic matter for nutrition and moisture retention. Adding compost or well-rooted manure can improve soil quality and provide essential nutrients. Snails are cold-blooded creatures and are sensitive to temperature ranges. Maintain a temperature range of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for optimal growth. If the temperature drops too low, consider using a heat source to keep the pen warm. Okay, at this point, please, please and please again, subscribe to my channel, thanks. Now let's move on to sterilizing your snail pen without harming your snails. Regular sterilization is crucial to prevent the buildup of harmful microorganisms that can cause diseases among your snail. Here is how to do it safely. Before sterilizing your pen, carefully remove all snails and place them in a temporary container with appropriate ventilation and moisture. This prevents them from being harmed during the sterilization process. Thoroughly clean the pen by removing any leftover food, debris, and snail waste. Dispose of this material properly. If the soil in your pen shows signs of contamination or disease, consider replacing it with fresh and well-prepared soil. There are several methods you can use to sterilize the pen. Baking the soil in the sun, steaming it, or using a diluted hydrogen peroxide solution are common techniques. Just ensure that the method you choose is safe for the snails and doesn't leave harmful residues. After sterilization, allow the pen to dry thoroughly. This helps eliminate excessive moisture and prevents the growth of microorganisms. Once the pen is properly sterilized and dry, carefully reintroduce your snails to their environment. Remember, maintaining a clean and suitable environment is an ongoing process. Regular observation and maintenance will ensure the well-being of your snails and the success of your snail farming venture. In the next part of this video series, we will delve deeper into snail nutrition and feeding practices to further enhance the growth and health of your snails. Stay tuned, subscribe to Clems Media and happy farming.